Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is React.js tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to get or display the multiple selected drop-down list values in React.js component. Now let's check the final output again. I'm selecting the country name New Zealand. So here we got New Zealand, India, New Zealand, India. Here we got USA. If I delete India, it's gone from this label USA it's gone New Zealand if I select again Japan we got Japan here India if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before continuing this video tutorial I sincerely recommend please watch my previous react.js tutorials you can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist now let's continue the today's tutorial I'm using Visual Studio Code to create the React.js application. Here I have already created one React.js application which is a BIS, the application name is. And I have created this application in React.js iPhone Bootstrap iPhone IS folder. At the right side, app.js, which is a React.js default component. Now, first, we'll create one new React.js component into our application and the source folder. Select the source folder, right click the mouse, new file, and the file name is a multiple ddl.js file. And here we got our JS file. Now, when we want to create the component in React.js, there are two types we can create. The components we can create two types one is a functional component, and the second one is a class component. Here in this example, I'm using functional component, but before that, we need to import the react class from the react library so let's do that one fast import react from but in single quotes i'm adding the react library after that i'm defining one function called multiple ddl is a function name and this function i'm export default my application name caller and this function return do element the do element is a root element of this component now in this do tag i want to display one simple drop down list with some country names so those country names i want to display from an array so declare a variable country name country name is equals to between square brackets curly brackets now between these curly brackets I'm defining the values and label the value one comma label is a country name between single quotes I'm adding India comma let's add some more country names the value 2 is USA and la label 3 is Nepal, label 4 is Japan, and the label 5 is um, New Zealand. Just for the demo purpose, I have added only 5 country names. Now let's bind this country name. Between this due tag, I'm adding the drop down list. In React.js, we need to import one uh, library call. Go to view terminal, and here we got our terminal. If you notice, the path is React.js bootstrap is, which is a folder name. In this folder, I have my application name. So let's first add the project to our path, then let's install npm install not package manager install react hyphen select and here we got a message updated one package which is the react hyphen select at 3.1.1 the version is let's check in our project there is a package.json file open that one see so here the react hyphen select was installed successfully Let's close this JSON file. After that, we'll import the select 
select select from react iphone select library that select element has is capital here select this select element contains the property called options is equals to between curly brackets i'm binding this country names here i'm calling this country names so all the country names is binded into the select element that's it let's save this file save all now the next step is when we want to render our component on the browser we need to configure our component in index.js file in the project there is an index.js file open that one and notice in the index.js file this render method contains an app element app component which is a default component of our application but i don't want to render app component i want to render this multiple ddl and stuff app i'm adding multiple ddl that's it let's save this file and now we'll check the output and pm start and turn and here we got the output of our component when I click the select element, notice all the country names are binded into this select element. Now, my aim is when user selects the multiple country names, I want to display on a label on this browser. So, first, we'll make this select element as a multi select for that is multi multi. That's it, it's a single property name we need to add save this file now we'll check see here we got nepal here I reload the browser again now i'll select nepal new zealand india i can delete the labels also now what are the user selects for example here i have selected japan and usa i want to get on the browser Let's do that one. For that, I require, I'm declaring one event. Uh, the event is variable uh, DDL handle is equals to event. And this event contains the selected dropdown values. And this select element I'm adding on change event is equals to I'm adding my event name. And now here I'm adding one more variable which is an array display value comma and get value. Get value is equals to set state. When you are using set state, we need to import the component set state. Set state. Sorry, it's not set state, it's a use state. Use state. Use state. Use state. And here, the get value is equals to. Here in the select element, I am selecting multiple options, multiple country names. So I require an array, array dot is array contains an argument from this event e question mark e dot map method. In this map method. I want to mapping these labels x x dot label if you want values you can add value here but I want to display the label country name so I'm adding the label column array that's it and now the final step now below the select element, I want to display the selected country names, multiple selected values. So here I'm adding 
uh, one center tag inside the center tag i'm adding one bold tag inside this um, bold tag the selected country names display value now this display value i'm adding uh, one another h3 h3 element heading let's add some style is equals to the style i'm adding color dot color colon i'm adding red that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file now we'll check the final output i'm reloading the browser now let's check the final output i'm selecting the country name japan oops yeah it's not displaying the country names let's fix this one the display value get get value is a method sorry for that get value is a method so this file again we'll check the output reload the browser i'm selecting japan see here we got the japan new zealand here the new zealand let's give some space here the display value plus i'm concatenating some space save this file save all We'll check the final output again. See here, Japan New Zealand, comma, we got comma here. Nepal, here we got Nepal. New Zealand, I'm deleting Japan and Nepal. Again, I'm reloading the browser. Now let's check the final output again. I'm selecting the country name New Zealand. See here we got New Zealand, India, New Zealand, India, here we got USA. If I delete India, it's gone from this label USA it's gone New Zealand if I select again Japan we got Japan here India that's it in this video tutorial I have explained how to display or get multiple selected drop-down list values in react.js thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel